Hello everybody, this is Michael Tyler from Carve Buddy, and uh, today I just want to show you how to marbleize a uh, box that will end up looking like uh, jade. Now I'm going to do the smaller pieces first. We've got the handle for the jade box, as well as four of these uh, painted balls for the feet for the box. Now this is very similar to the alabaster box tutorial. In fact, it's uh, really the same except for the color of the paints. And also, I decided to try a different technique with, uh, I painted everything first with a white primer and then uh, a couple of coats of the white semi-gloss paint. And then I also sort of spritzed the box as well as the feet and handle with this dark hunter green color and left a little bit of the white showing through and I think that's going to add to the effect of the uh, jade appearance that we're after so the technique is the same as the alabaster box tutorial you can watch that if you'd like but this is very similar what we do is we uh, have a container of water and uh, large enough to fit our pieces in and then what we'll do is paint the uh, spritz of spray of these different colors of greens that I've picked out to form a surface on the top of the water. And then we'll take a stir stick, it's just a skewer, and swirl that paint around a bit to give sort of that marbleized appearance. We'll dip in the items that we want to marbleize, and when it's lifted out, that paint film will stick to the objects we put in. So it's a very simple process. Anybody can do it. We'll do the box later, but of course we'll use a larger container. So I want to spray a little bit of each color for my jade appearance on top of the surface of the water. And you do have to work fairly quickly so that you uh, don't have the paint film dry before you dip your item into the surface of the water. So we'll just spray a little bit of these colors of paint and twirl it around a little bit with the stir stick to give that sort of a marbleized look to it and then we'll take our first whip, dip it in and swirl it around a little bit however you like and it gives a really nice marbleized look I think you can see that in the video all right so we'll set that aside to dry now what I like to do when you're doing several objects is to sweep away this excess paint. You can move it around with a stir stick, but better is to use a paper towel just to remove that film from the top surface of the water before you begin your next item for dipping. And that's pretty good. And you just repeat the process. So no two will look exactly alike. You just swirl that around and get it how you like it. If you see that you got some bare spots, you just spray a little bit more. And that water's already churning and turning. Our next one. Remove that top film. There we go. After this marbleizing process is done, probably want to let this sit overnight, let it dry thoroughly, make sure all the moisture is gone, and then uh, if you want to, and I recommend it, is to apply uh, some type of clear coat that's compatible with these paints. These are uh, Krylon brand paints, so I like to use the same brand and formulation basically just to make sure I don't have any 
paint compatibility problems. And uh, so I'll be using a Krylon uh, clear coat over the top of these. pretty. That is really nice. Okay, then I'll dip our handle in. Let me remove that film from the top surface again. Now, if you work fast enough, in fact, I, I probably could have gone ahead and dipped a couple of balls uh, right after each other because I don't think that paint was dry enough yet because I was working fast enough. But just to be on the safe side, you may want to remove that film just to be sure it's not too dry to stick to the item that you're dipping. And we'll dip this handle in. And I want a little bit more of that marbleized appearance, so I'm going to dip that again. Okay, that's starting to look like carved jade. Hope you can see that all right. Okay, so I will um, get my larger container ready and we'll marbleize the box as well. Thanks for watching.